been a minute. I have been going through a few things. I'm back now. Let's talk about it. Back in 2012, I had the big idea of starting a photography business. I reached out to a few friends, I made a little money, I got a taste of the life that I was seeking. That only lasted for a short time because I was not prepared for the business side of it all. Despite that fact, I kept shooting. to work on the technical side of it all. I'm not where I want to be, but I am closer now than I have ever been before. To work on the technical side of it all, I'm not where I want to be, but I am closer now than I have ever been before. What does the future hold for me? I'm not sure what is destined to happen in my life. I just know that I will take on every situation as it comes. What I want to happen in my life, the photography side that is, I want to eventually be a full-time photographer slash creator. What does the future hold for me? I'm not sure what the future has destined for me in my life. I just know that I will take on every situation as it comes. What I want to happen in my life, the photography part, I want to eventually become a full-time photographer slash creator and I want to have income that supports the life. I don't expect it to be easy. Personally, I think the journey is the best part. During the journey, you get to experience so many new things and see so many new places, not to mention all the friends that you will meet along the way. I have identified a few steps to improve my life. I am not where I am, where I want to be. I have identified a few steps to improve my life and my life as a whole. I'm not where I want to be in life. I have identified steps to improve my life. Where I am in life is not where 
I meant to stay. So I'll have come up with a few steps to improve my life in general as a whole. The number one step that I realize I need to do is prayer. I need to strengthen my spiritual life so I can see, receive what God has for me. Also, so that I can go where he intends for me to be. Prayer strengthens your life from the inside out. In my opinion, it makes things easier. It makes life simple because you tend it helps you focus more you keep your mind on your goal and all the stuff around you especially the stuff that doesn't matter seems to just disappear Number two, I'm learning to stimulate my brain and also to provide information that can be formed into ideas that I can share to the world. I'm doing this by reading more, taking in nature, I'm just keeping an open mind about life in general. When I get an idea, I take the time to process it because it may be more than what it appears to be. And number three, just getting out, doing more. When you get out, you meet people, you see more stuff, you get more ideas, you get different perspectives on many different things. It just overall helps you to change, be more susceptible to change and not take everything at face value. It also helps you expand to expand. It also helps you to expand your imagination. Bringing more possibilities into your life. The number one step that I realize I need to do is prayer. I need to strengthen my spiritual life so I can see, receive what God has for me. Also, so that I can go where 
he intends for me to be. Prayer strengthens your life from the inside out. In my opinion, it makes things easier. It makes life simple. Because you tend, it helps you focus more. You keep your mind on your goal and all the stuff around you, especially the stuff that doesn't matter, seems to just disappear. Number two, I'm learning to stimulate my brain. and also to provide information that can be formed into ideas that I can share to the world. I'm doing this by reading more, taking in nature. I'm just keeping an open mind about life in general. When I get an idea I take the time to process it because it may be more than what it appears to be. And number three, just getting out, doing more. When you get out, you meet people, you see more stuff. You get more ideas. You get different perspectives on many different things. It just overall helps you to change, be more susceptible to change and not take everything at face value. It also helps you expand to expand. It also helps you to expand your imagination. Bringing more possibilities. My dream to become a photographer was cut short. Due to life circumstances. Over time, I have learned what I need to do to get myself back on track. The process will take some time through prayer, learning, and discipline. I truly believe that I can end up on top doing what I want to do the most. All right, guys. The past couple months or so hasn't been the best for me. I literally spent the whole summer walking in the heat because I could not get a mechanic to fix my truck. So I have a new vehicle. I broke down and bought it. And then, um, pretty much as soon as I bought it, I had a whole line of mechanics calling me. But the deal was done. So now I have to sell my old one. And I'm going to take the money I make from that one, and I'm going to apply it to the new one. It ain't the best, but it does get me from point A to point B and that's what I need at the moment I can up always upgrade later when the time is right but between that and work things are getting really hard 
So I was working on a few personal things. While attempting to secure some point to secure some kind of transportation. I did some reading, not a whole lot, just to pass the time. But I, since I've been doing that, there's value in pretty much everything around you. And you really should never stop learning. No matter what age you are. Because you never know what's going to lead to your next best idea. And for now, I'm taking my time. I'm writing my ideas out. This is a simple blog style, but my next few, few videos, they will be more detailed, more organized, and hopefully something that has a lot of value, some, that I, hopefully I can give you something to take away that may help you you know so maybe you can learn from my mistakes like and subscribe and follow my journey if you want to